Virgo, Virgo Sun, an individual sitting with Virgo and their Mercury. How are you guys doing today? It's good to be back and it feels great to be back. I mean, it just feels great to be back here. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more help. I would love to help. Seriously, seriously, would love to help. We actually will be honored to. But um, I've already pulled your spread to that down some time because I know we all have things to do. We all have to get back to our family and our lives here, of course. So I'm not going to hold you long. Um, if you would like to um, book any appointments, description box can help you below here, Virgo. If you would like to join us for Ladybug, I mean, for um, Sunday's prayer on testimonies, description box can help you below. Um, if you would like to shop for any chakra rods, the description box can help you below. Please look out for everything. There's going to be a lot of announcements coming, and I am so excited about it. So we're going to head straight into prayer to get this thing going. I'd like to take this time to thank God for our high vibrating spirits. Thank God for protection and balance and insight. Thank God for clarity. I'd like to ask God for awareness, for insight, for truth, for acceptance and protection and abundant light. In Jesus' name, love and light. Amen. How are you feeling, Virgo? Because the reading, the energy is really, really tough here. Um, it feels like rubber even, okay? The bottom of the deck is feeling blown here, okay? You could feel like you had to lose a lot to gain here. You could have lost your homes here or lost that security here, that comfort here as well, and it's causing you a lot of stress here. But I do see um, someone watching over you here as well, or someone praying for you here, Virgo, someone wishing you well just from afar here as well. Um, could be a Capricorn towards Virgo. You may not even be aware of this person, but they are. Um, Virgo, this is you. You're just changing your perspective on things here, going within, looking at yourself for what it is here, taking these times at night here to get yourself together to feel, feel better here. But you do feel alone. You do feel like you've lost. A lot here as well but you at the same time you could feel like there's going to be a gain you're going to gain somewhere somehow you just know it okay there's a lot of reflection you could be changing evolving here okay changing the things that's around you and evolving as a person okay getting control over your finances and grounding yourself here the overall energy here around you was just breathe okay you could be trying to Trying to stop gossiping here, I see that. Trying to stop being nosy, okay, and just trying to focus on your own thing here. But the overall energy is getting some rest here, meditating, going within, finding the beauty of everything that surrounds you here as well. Trying to figure out what to create, what you want to birth here as well. Getting rid of the lies, getting rid of the negativity here as well. Trusting in your intuition here as well. You could be meditating and trying to figure out where things went wrong with the situation here as well. Trying to figure out where your money has went here as well. Some of you are trying to clean up your communication, trying to figure out. You could be also trying to stop a liar. Be truthful and listen to your inner voice to gain peace of mind. Beware of be, being deceived by others. You're, some of you are trying to slow down your communication so you can either catch someone, I mean, catch yourself before you speak too fast, or you're trying to go back and find out where somebody could have messed up or lied here as well. Or you're just trying to get your communication together. You're trying to make sure you approach situations loving here. Okay? But there's transformation. There's a change in your communication, a change in the way you were either sleeping here or how you were moving, how you were speaking, okay? Destruction and transformation take place to allow personal growth. Use your intuition to seek change because you're already losing here or you've already, you've already acknowledged that you've lost. You've lost something or you've been stolen from. You could also be coming out about how you feel like, for instance, if you got caught in a lie here, you're coming to express yourself and speak your truth here. You feel like it's time. Or you want to speak up about 
how you feel about something that you have not been speaking up on, okay? Because the mental conflict here is helpless and hopeless. Okay, there's a lot of anxiety here, okay? The throat chakra is really, really important. You most definitely have to speak your truth here. There's, And also give credit where it's due here, okay? But there's a lot of manifest, manifestation, but in the 5D here. There could be a lot of... There could be stress over someone stopping you, stress over getting sleep here, okay? The, the mental conflict is your communication. Either getting something off the ground or you're fixing your communication, speaking beauty into the existence here as well, having hope in the things that you say here, speaking your way through your oppositions here. Yes, you could be worried that some communication could be cut off. You could be worried about the lies that you have to, the truth that you have to tell now due to the lies that were told. Yeah, and there's some confusion here about how you feel. You could be worried about losing communication with someone. You could be worried about taking too long to express yourself. You could be worried about... There's communication issues here. Stay still and take time to think and relax. You can choose to resume activity at any time. Yeah, the mental conflict is basically... Like, cut off communication. Like, are you going to be able to speak to this person? Or are you going to be able to speak your truth here? Are you going to be able to change the way... Change your approach in your communication. Change your thoughts here as well. Open up about how you feel here. Open up about feeling taken from here as well. Open up about what you want to manifest here as well. There's some painful truth here. And what's on the heart space is challenging times. This looks like a really difficult time here. Okay, even you're there's change here. You are evolving, but it, you're struggling with it here. Or you could feel like you could feel you feel like taking off the mask and being your true authentic self. <clears throat> okay, you feel like taking off the mask and being your true authentic self here, but you don't know how to do that without telling the full truth about everything that you could have done or what was done to you here. Okay, because once once the conversation begins, then the truth has to come out, period. And it's going to be hard here to get around certain lies because it is what it is. Yes. You can feel like coming out and expressing yourself is going to be really difficult here as well. Maybe people won't see your side here as well or... Um, you could feel really afraid because you feel like someone may argue or try to fight you here. You defend yourself bravely and successfully cope with all obstacles thanks to your courage. But you're having a difficult time with expressing the painful truth. You're having a difficult time here facing reality, facing this change here. There's fear, there's obsession. There's money issues here. There's self-control issues here as well. Trusting your, you, you feel like you want to speak up about what you intuitively know, but there's no facts. Yeah, you could want a second chance here, but there's no facts. There's no stability. There's no concrete evidence of something here. Time to wake up and fulfill your deepest dreams and desires. You will find successful solutions here, okay? You feel like asking for a second chance. You feel like defending yourself. You feel like speaking up about your name. You feel like speaking about God or something that was done here, a, um, a commitment, a marriage. You feel like defending yourself about a decision that was made or even about how you feel. You could even possibly want to speak up about this journey here, but it's, your, your throat chakra is blocked. And so far, you, you need to work on this throat chakra really heavily, but also your third eye here because God is here, okay? There is a healer here. There is someone who can see you through here, but you could also be talking to God. This could be a relationship that you're having, a conversation that you're having with God, but there is a lot of back and forth and you feel like there could be a little blame game here as well. Be aware. <clears throat> I'm going to get it out. Be aware of opportunity beckons. Most definitely be aware of this Pisces. Be aware of your intuition here as well. Be aware of overthinking the situation here as well and not putting in order. Be aware of how you feel. 
be aware that this could be a missed opportunity here. Somebody could possibly be aware of not even expressing yourself here about what you want to build about this second chance here as well, about, about an apology here, about be aware of walking away from your destiny. Be, a walk, be aware of walking away from yourself, okay? Be aware of walking away from your gift, okay? Just because it, it's small, all right? New ideas and enterprises come through. You have great charisma and ability to lead others. Act now, okay? Be aware of these hidden emotions. Be aware of this hidden talent. Be aware of someone making a decision that they do not want to further a situation here as well. Yeah, be aware of this secret. Yeah, someone could secretly not want this. Someone could secretly just want to, you know, make a decision to put, to stop communicating. They don't want to feel this way. They don't want to feel anything about this as well. Even if they do communicate with you again, they secretly don't want this. It's, it's the communication sucks. The emotion sucks. This person, this could be a leader here. They could be making a decision to put things down secretly, okay? You have difficulty seeing reality as it is. Re-examine the situation as your inner fears aren't too realistic. Be aware of waiting for someone to make a decision here. Be aware of not coming out about a decision, a secret decision here as well. Be aware of, I feel like there's backtracking. I feel like there's a, a secret decision being made, but there's not. Yeah, there's not. There, it's a breakthrough, honestly. Be aware of a secret, a hidden talent here, okay? Check your, what's that? Neptune? Or Pluto? And your moon sign here? Be aware of overthinking, though. Okay? Don't make up someone's mind for them. Always ask questions. It's always the right time to speak your truth, but speak your truth when you need to, not necessarily when you want to. So always go into prayer. If you need help with communication, go and ask your guardians, your spirit. Go and ask God here. Okay? Be aware of this hidden talent. Be aware of this hidden emotion. Be aware of this um, this fire sign here as well. You advance with energy, optimism, and creativity. You are courageous. Progress and success are on their way here. There's a breakthrough. Someone, a man, a masculine here could be coming through to ask for a second chance here. You need to be prepared for that. So get out of this, this sulking. And this could be any type of man. This could be your boss here coming in as well. They are coming in pretty fast, but this person, they have change something has changed about this individual here okay they could have found out some information or you could have found out some information or someone is coming in to communicate or take action here but there are things that you do not know yet okay and mercury is staying in i mean aquarius is staying in mercury for a while until like I want to say the end of February or the beginning of March. So watch your, your moon cycles. And this one looks like a, a gibbous or a waxing. Not necessarily. It doesn't look like a waxing, but it does look like a giving, a gibbous. So when you're you're settled and you're organizing and you're getting things together, something could just show up, okay? Or you could find out some information here. Yeah, about a fake love, about someone's, how they truly, truly feel here, about this Pisces here as well. Yeah, somebody either doesn't want, don't want to express themselves or want this relationship here or it was fake. Okay. Be aware of this Pisces. Be aware of this communication. Be aware of these emotions, period. 
Be aware of this Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Be aware of your secret hidden talents here. Be aware of hiding who you truly are, hiding your emotions. Be aware that someone is fine, but they're about to bring in this action here, or you're about to find out what really, how they truly feel here, okay? The most likely outcome for you, Virgo Sun, while Aquarius is sitting in Mercury, is refusing to see. Virgo Sun, it looks like you will be still blocking out communication. You need to work on opening up and expressing yourself, allowing people to come in and open up and express, them, express themselves here as well. Please don't be closed-minded, and please remember to speak your truth. You are not responsible for how the person feels here, Virgo. Your only responsibility is that it comes out in a positive way, the most positive way possible, and the most honest. Okay, and also don't block out the truth, baby. It is what it is. Just because you don't want it, and I share this on testimony, just because you don't want it to be true doesn't mean that it's not, okay? Be open to these endings, okay? Be open to this change. Be open to these people leaving out and these new people coming in, okay? God is doing this, okay? God is the one creating the change. Be aware that when one door closes, another one opens, okay? Especially if God is doing it. Now, if you're doing it yourself, I don't know what's going to happen. But if God, and it looks like God is doing this here, you just need to be honest about how you feel here, okay? Or someone is coming to be to tell you how they feel here, okay? I'm hearing that it could be a mother and a child, or it could be just a child. Okay, the whole world is before you. You have cosmic protection, protection, and can expect complete success here. If you allow these, if you allow yourself to open up to this change here and stop blocking out this change, stop blocking out these people, stop blocking out God, stop blocking out what you know here. Work on your communication. Give credit where it's due. The bottom of the deck was choose your battles. Okay. Sometimes it's better to be. To keep to yourself than to sit here and argue with somebody who ain't going to listen to you anyway. Trust your intuition. Your spirit and your guardians are around you and they are here to guide you here as well. Trust your into Go into prayer and meditation before you speak here. Okay, if you're having problems, if you're having problems on how to act or where to go on, on what to say here, then you go to God. Take it to God. It's too much, God. All right, because this looks like an up and down situation, but it's more negative here, okay? I'm catching a headache over here. Too many obligations blocks your vision, lessen the load so you can lift your head and explore the opportunities here, okay? Have faith that God will see you through, but you got to put in the work here. You got to let go of all this partying, let go of all these people here, and get by yourself to reflect. You already do it. Try doing it a little bit more here. Try that meditation, okay? Just a little bit more. Take a little bit more time. Take those 15 minutes, okay? Because first you was taking 10. Now it's time to take those 15 minutes and reflect on yourself and reflect on your situation because it's time to evolve. And you know that. <clears throat> I'm not telling you nothing you don't know. And this enemy cannot block me from telling you, okay? It's time to evolve. It's time to drop all this baggage that you got going on. It's time to be honest. It's time to open up and express yourself. And it's most definitely time to ask for some help, boo. Work on this throat chakra, okay? For sure. Work on this throat chakra. Get yourself together. And it's okay to ask for help. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. Get out of this fear. And take a leap of faith towards God. Bottom of the deck, yeah. Let go and let God, all right? Pay your dues. Say, Give your apologies to people. But make sure that you're focused on God and on your and what you, how you feel, okay? Because you need to tell the truth, baby. Or someone needs to come and tell you the truth. Be open to it. I always say you don't have to accept these people back in your life, but allow them to grow and evolve. And that's and the way you do that is forgiving them and moving forward. A tarot reader, um, Astral Queen, she said on a video once, she said, um, and I appreciate her so much, but she said, um, the reason why you can't let an ex go here is because you haven't forgiven them or forgiven yourself. Amen. Okay, open up to this change. Drop these burdens here. Okay. I also see if something is not your responsibility, then why are you dealing with that? Okay, well, don't sit around and take care of grown people. If it's too much, then say that. If you need to express yourself, then do that. The, the message here is messenger. Sarah's energy bringing harmony and balance. Okay, you also could be dealing with your creativity for sure. 
So express yourself. If you're doing too much, then let certain things go because you need to feel better. Remember, take those breaks, take those 15 minutes to reflect on yourself, but get some rest here and allow God to come in and shift things if any, if need be. Don't block out God. Don't block out this peace. Okay, don't block out your creativity here. Bottom of the deck is jump in. You need to be all you can be. Okay, and you can't be that with being tired. You can't be that with taking care of every and anybody. Okay, let these people that want to come in and help you, let them come in and help you, please. There is nothing wrong with help and God sends it. Are you going to take it? You know the story about the man who kept on asking for uh, um, for help because he was in his little boat and he kept or he was drowning or something. I forget. Excuse me. But he was in water and he needed help. And he kept praying to God, send me help, send me help. And God kept sending boats, sending people. And he kept saying, no, I'm waiting on God. I'm waiting on God. Baby, God already sent the help. Are you going to do you going to go forward or are you going to say sadness? It is what it is. Please like, comment, subscribe to this channel for more help, Virgo son. I would love to help. Um, if you would like to skip or wait to the end of the video, I am getting a spiritual message for us all. Other than that, have a beautiful day or night. Namaste. Alrighty, the most likely outcome here for you individuals with Virgo and your Mercury while Aquarius is sitting in Mercury, you got two cards and the first one was giving and receiving here. Okay, this is most definitely bringing in that balance, going back over these past issues here as well. You could also be dealing with trying to figure out who to give to as well and who to fix things with here as well. Okay, you could be also purchasing chakra rocks or stones here. You could be dealing with the Capricorn here as well or your lessons for sure. Trying to figure out what to give, how to love, okay, and most definitely how to get out of this fear here. But there's balance, okay? There's asking for second chances. There's getting your communication together. There's feeling better here as well. You could also be giving back to family here, going to fix issues with family. <clears throat> Getting your communication together on what you want to say to family here as well. You could be most definitely giving off this love here, okay? And it's bringing in balance. Fulfillment of all your spiritual and emotional aspirations. Excellent relationship and fruitful life here, okay? Yes, and it could be coming in really, really fast. You could also be... Um, telling your family the truth about how you feel. You could also be the black sheep of the family here as well and, and cutting the cords, baby, okay? You're fixing situations, okay? You could also be reaching out to people and family could also, this could go verse vice. The family could be rushing and reaching out back out to you here as well. There could be a lot of people trying to come in and fix things with communication. So there could be a lot of calls coming in here as well. A lot of apologies or offers here okay you are confident and courageous but move too fast slow down enjoy getting there as much as being there yeah okay so there is a balance in family and communication and emotions but you could be trying to rush this or a lot of people could be trying to come in and fix things with you really fast here and not really close out these chapters or not really discuss the issue here everybody just want to fix it here okay because the bottom of the deck we have is the base chakra there's fear here there's closed upness okay and there's most definitely family issues okay but it's all around communication and moving forward and balancing the situation out. Like I said, you can be dealing with your lessons, your emotions, your communication here, okay? Your connection with people. All right, for sure, for sure. The second card we have is Blossom, okay? This is recognizing the journey for what it is here. This is turning over new leaves here. This is creating different passions. This is going within your power here. This is recognizing marriage and commitments for what they are here. This is putting behind these sabotaging ways and going to God. This is an awakening. This is blossoming. This is a, a beautiful transformation, okay? Yes, it's independence. It's self-awareness. It's knowing who is in control here. You succeed when acting on your own. Leave partners aside as your success is yours alone. There's focus on self. Focus on your own passion and your direction here. On the actions you want to take here. What you want to create here as well. And the things that you're saying. For sure, for sure. You have many talents and skills like a magician. You can create anything you wish here. For sure, for sure. This is getting a second chance to go back in and have your own and do your own thing here. Some of you are manifesting this here because at the same time, I did feel like there was um, spell work here, okay? 
spell word casting spells here okay Money could come in and leave very quickly here as well, okay? You could most definitely be dealing with the Virgo individuals with Virgo and their Mercury, or someone could be coming back and asking for a second chance or wanting to work with you or create something with you, a Gemini or a Virgo or a Capricorn, okay? The Gemini could be one to create this spell work or one of they could be communicating really fast or bringing in really, really fast communication here. You could also be recognizing that your communication is manifesting really fast or you manifest fast out of anger here as well. You bring things in fast, okay? But they don't last for long here, okay? Relationships, family, okay? You are just, it looks like you're trying to get, get your businesses together here, okay? You're walking away from things that don't mean you well, okay? Emotional entanglements, things that just didn't make you feel good. I'm getting a headache. There's karma here. Okay, so make sure you're on the right end of this. When it comes to the people that you've dealt with here, make sure you're doing what's right here. There's a lot of worry for sure. Okay, do things for the better. We have at the bottom of the deck, we have inner earth. Okay, go within and find the beauty of situations for sure. We have three spiritual spiritual cards here, spiritual advice. The first one is water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. Take care of yourself, okay? And things around you will change here. The light will, will eventually glow, okay? It will shine, I promise. Love, I promise. There could be need to, a need to clean up and get things together here, get organized for sure. But take care of yourself. Drink enough water here. Eat enough food greens green food get out of this fear and fix these family issues okay most definitely get yourself together and to be telling a virgo well this is this could be anybody a virgo could be coming in to help you clean up here as well the next card we have is fall into my arms surrender holding the opposites extremes of life okay your ancestors and people who love you are praying for you and they want you to see the better side of things they want you to stay positive they want you here okay manifest beauty let go of anything that does not mean you well here and let this love in because love is trying to reach you your ancestors your spirits are trying to reach you they want to communicate let this come in let this love come in and make sure you're putting action behind this prayer prayer is asking meditation is obeying and then putting in that work the last card you have is Earth School. Life lessons, soul's growth, study, higher learning. Spiritual journey here. Take it for what it is. Let this change come in. Let things around you change here. Individuals with, with Virgo and their Mercury while Aquarius is sitting in Mercury. Let this change come in and just die. Allow yourself to become a better person. Okay, help people get themselves together if need be here, but there needs to be a balance and acceptance here, okay? Um, I see you love and light always. Please like, subscribe to the channel for more insight. I would love to help individuals with um, Virgo and their Mercury. We are getting spiritual advice at the end of the video if you would like to stay for that because it is starting now. If not, I see you love and light always. Spiritual messages. We have earth. How beautiful. You need to ground yourself and get yourself together. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. The challenge for all souls having a human experience is to be in the world, but not of it. To realize they are souls having a human experience and be fully conscious of it. To have their soul fully embodying their body. People's personality tend to relate to either tender Transcendency, trend, trends, okay, transcendence, or immune, immune, okay, I M M A N E N C E for some reason. Those who lean toward transcendence have a longing for the heavens and of the metaphysical. They yearn for a personal experience with God and to be lost in the heavens. They're envious of the angels and are more comfortable praying and hanging out in the stars than on earth. Those who tend toward immunants have attained themselves more to earth in their body. They spend more time thinking about things in this physical world rather than connecting with the heavens on their own and mystical inner worlds. Being a fully embodied soul 
having an ex a human experience means finding the balance between transcendence and amenance. I M M A N E N C E. Being in the world, but not of it. Most star seeds are drawn towards transcendence. They're more comfortable with the angels in the heavens. Life on earth can be more difficult for them. This is for you. You're being reminded that you choose to be a soul in a body on earth, and you're being called to focus more on your energies in the physical world. To learn how to be human, a soul in a human body, fully present to what life on earth has to offer you. Amen. Star seed soul inquiry. Do you tend to long for the stars or be more in the physical? How can you find greater balance between the two? Do you tend to long for the stars or be more in the physical? How can you find greater balance between the two? I say you love and light always. Have a beautiful day or night. Namaste. Find that balance within you and love yourself. Okay, Virgo? And individuals with Virgo and their Mercury?